about Christmas time, this girl, I'm going to tell you the story of a teenage girl. Her father was very wealthy, and he loved her very much, and her name was Dorothy. And she had a most amazing situation because her birthday was three days before Christmas. Now, that's a tough one. Maybe some of you uh, have a birthday on the 23rd of December or the 22nd, and then up comes Christmas. Well, that was the case with Dorothy. And so, on her birthday, which was the 22nd of December, her father gave her a present. He gave her a beautiful string of 10-cent store pearls. But they were very beautiful, and she liked them very much. And because her father gave them to her, she was very happy with them, and she wore them all the time, and she wouldn't even take them off at any time. She wouldn't take them off. She went to bed. She took a bath whenever she did. She just worked around those pearls. They stayed on, period, and she didn't take them off, even though they were very cheap. They were imitations. Uh, you, you can get them at any 10-cent store. But she loved them. And so on Christmas Eve, her father came to the table, and he sat down, and Dorothy was eating in her usual place. And so during the course of the early part of the dinner, the father leaned over to her, and he said, Dorothy, I want you to give me those pearls that you've been wearing. He says, you know, they're imitation pearls. You know, they're not very expensive. He says, I know that, Daddy. She says, but I love them. And he said, well, I want you to give them to me. And so she said, well, why? Well, he said, well, I'm going to throw them away. I'm going to destroy them. They're no good. They're just cheap. So he said, come on, Dorothy, take them off and give them to me. And so she just couldn't believe her ears, and she set her jaw, and she shook her head and said, no. He said, I mean it, Dorothy, I want you to give them to me now. So she shook her head, and this time she shook her head, tears began to come down her eyes. He said, Dorothy, I want those pearls now. And then she asked him again, now she was sobbing, she said, what are you going to do with them? He said, I'm going to throw them away. So with that, she jumps up and she scoots out of the room. And all the way upstairs, you could hear her bawling. That's the correct word for a girl who was crying when frustrated. She was bawling. And she slammed the door of her room, and as only a girl would, she threw herself down on the bed and had a big cry. And in the middle of this big cry, there was a knock on the door of her bedroom, and she said, Who is it? As only a girl can between tears. And it was her father's voice came through the door. He says, Dorothy, I still want those pearls. <laughs> and then she really hit a loud cry, crescendo. Well, finally, when she cried all she could cry and reduced it to sobs, then when she ran out of sobs, she took off the pearls, put them in her hand, opened the door, walked down the stairs where her father was sitting in the living room, and she said, Daddy, here are the pearls. And she handed them to him. There was a nice fire going in the fireplace there. And you know what he did? I'll bet you thought he gave them right back. He did not. He wadded them up in his hand and threw them right into the fire. Now, wasn't that a terrible thing to do? And boy, that started all again. You'd think she'd have to drink a gallon of water before she could do any more crying, but she got right with it. I mean, right now, she started to cry. And she was, and she, you know, girls can cry until they're blind. They just can't even see anything. And she was standing in front of her father's chair, and she was crying, and she was blind crying now. She couldn't see. And she didn't see her father reach into the pocket and bring out a package and offer it to her. But suddenly, when she got to where she, uh, you know, it didn't rain quite as much, she saw him holding out a package. And so, sniffing, she took the package and opened it. And you know what it was? A real set of pearls. Now, I want you to notice something. And boy, was she happy with those. She didn't take them off for a year. <laughs> now, this is what God is saying to you and to me. 
He wants us to get rid of the imitation stuff. You know why? He wants to give us the real pearls. <laughs>